Gentlemen, welcome back to the laboratory. This is the advanced cell shader pack tutorial for setting up your cell lighting model. Let's get straight into it. As you can see here, we have a barrel that is cell shaded. So what's going on there is it is a unlit object and it gathers lighting information from around the level and it draws its own cell lighting routine, which is pretty cool. The only thing is it's a little bit tricky to set up the first time, so what I'm going to do is show you how to do that uh, to a new one. Alright, so let's take our log. We're, we're going to upgrade our log here to look a little better. It looks a little bit too real. We, we really want that, just cell shaded. So the first thing we've got to do is to convert that to a, uh, a different type, uh, to a blueprint. Let's drop that in there. BP log. And here is our log blueprint. The second thing we have to do is convert its material. So we're going to go find log mat. So we'll grab that, we'll keep that open. In fact, we, we probably don't need to. Normally, what I'd do is I'd copy this texture and reuse it. We're not going to do that. We're going to replace it with the texture I prepared earlier that looks a little bit better. And they are just down here. A really simple wood texture. So we'll use those. Uh, but first, we must make a new material instance. Let's name that mat log cell. We're going to open that bad boy up. So the thing about these cell materials is they have a lot of parameters and you don't really want to touch most of them. So under the do not edit section, guess what we do with that? We don't edit it and get rid of that. But we do want to use texture, turn all these on so we can edit them. Let's go back to our materials for the log. Drag those in. Oh yeah. Now you won't see anything. So the deal with this lighting model is it doesn't really work without lights. And it doesn't work until it's attached to something with a cell shader component. So we've got some other options we can probably edit here. We'll, we'll edit them later. For now we'll just tuck this guy. In fact, we'll just close them. We'll close that. So we've got our BP log, we're going to change that to our log cell. It's going to look black. If we come back up to here, we're going to add a cell shader component. So that's the two things you desperately need. You really need to make this work. You have to change the cell material to an instance of that um, you have to change the material to an instance of the cell material, and you have to add a cell shader component. If we come back here and we hit play, look at that. It just works, right? But we can do a little bit more with that. Like, we, we want this to work all the time, like, not just when you hit play. We want to see this in the editor as well. So don't like it being black. So there's one more thing we have to do. We come back to our log blueprint. And we go to our construction script. We're going to drag down our BP cell shader component, drag this out, and type construction. All we have to do is drag this in here, and now that component partakes in the construction script. So if we come back here, now he looks okay. We can, you know, drop lights in there and see what they do and stuff. And so you'll see that in real time effectively. One thing with your lighting as well is change it from the new candle as option to unitless and set it to about 10,000. Uh, make it say pink. Now when we drag this around that will update and it will show the light position. Which is pretty neat I think. And that is how you set up your cell lighting materials.